In this video, I will show you how to create your own weather forecast card. I promise this will be the last weather card I show for a long time. You will need to install button card and vertical stacking card from Hacks. Start by creating a new card. The first card will be the custom vertical stack and card card. Then add a custom button card as the first child. Add your weather integration as the entity and let's hide the icon and name. Similar to the other weather cards we have created, we will need to set up some custom fields to be able to show all the information we want. So let's set up fields for day, condition, temperature, and icon. To display the forecast, we will take use of the forecast array of the weather integration. We can make this a bit easier for ourselves by setting up a variable in button card. Then we would only need to change this one variable for each day of the forecast. So above the custom fields, create a variables attribute, then give it a name. I call it day with double Y's just to distinguish it a bit from the custom field. Then I set the variable to one. Let's start adding the JavaScript to our custom fields. Start at the top. Like always, we need to add three square brackets. Button card has a built-in function for converting a date time to a text that display the weekday. So let's just write helpers.format date weekday, add brackets and continue with entity.attributes.forecast. Then we add square brackets. This is where we would add a number that represents the forecast array, but we want to use the variable we set up earlier. So inside the square brackets, we need two backticks. Then we add a dollar sign, then curly brackets. And then we can type variables.day with two Ys. Then outside the square brackets, we need to add a dot and type date time. The rest of the custom fields will be a lot simpler. For all fields except the icon, we start with return entity.attributes.forecast then copy the variable code from the day field we created first. Then for condition, we add dot condition. For the temperature, I will just copy the code from the condition field and change the end to dot temperature instead. Here, I would like to add a degree sign as well. So let's type plus, then add two apostrophes. Inside, add the degree sign. I just Google and copy from there. Next, I add an interpunct because I actually want to display the precipitation in this field as well. So continue adding a plus sign then copy the entity code and change temperature to precipitation. Then add MM to the end, same as we did with the degree sign. The animated icon is a bit more advanced, but the code is exactly the same as the one I showed in one of my previous videos. You just need to update the entity code to include the variable. All right, it looks like a mess right now, but let's start styling and fixing the layout. Start by setting up a grid. The grid will just have all the elements next to each other. The sizing of the grid is more personal preference. What's most important is to allocate just enough space for the icon. We could change the size of the icon in the custom field code. The other columns I will set to max content, 1FR and 1FR. The rest of the styling will be pretty basic. The card gets a padding of 12px. Then I set up styling for all the custom fields. Most of the elements will get the same styling. The most important rules are the justify self rules. The icon should be centered. The temperature should be aligned to the end and the rest aligned to the start. The temperature should also get a padding of 12px to the right. I capitalize the condition element using text transform. Other than that, I just experiment with different font sizes and weights. I actually just end up using the default font size for all elements. And that is actually the first day of the forecast done. All we have to do now is to copy this whole card and paste it four times. Then we just need to edit the variable for each card, and we should have a full forecast card finished. I then notice that the background color of my weather card is different to my forecast card. So I go through all five days and add the same background color to the forecast card as well. It doesn't look great when the two cards are stacked together like this. So what I then do is to create a new vertical stack card, and I paste in both the weather card and the forecast card to this vertical stack card. Then I add a bubble card set to separator as the first and third card. This separator can have a name and an icon, so it's a nice way to separate the two cards from each other. And that concludes this video. In my dashboard, I have this hidden in a pop-up that I can activate with the time and weather header that I have showed in another video. As always, the full code can be found on the Gumroad link in the comments. Thanks for watching and the support. Until next time.